They do it here in pole class. They're pretty good at it here in Limavady as well. They see the benefits of it here in foil view. Kids love it in Straban. And parents, teachers and, most importantly, the children themselves can't get enough of it in Craigavon. It has a special beat all of its own in Belfast. So what is it that schools, teachers, parents and pupils are so excited about? Well, it centres on what is called Extended Schools, the government programme that aims to make the school the hub of the community. The idea couldn't be simpler. Education extends beyond the classroom and can offer much more to children, their parents and the local community by throwing open school doors to accommodate a range of activities before, during and beyond the traditional school day. Um, this is school, but it's not school. We're really enjoying it. These are all the fun things that you do in school, and now we're doing them all the time here, so they really thoroughly enjoy what's happening. It seeks to drive up school standards, counter deprivation, foster engagement, and improve children's life chances. But don't just take my word for it. Um, it's obviously a very positive thing, you know, and um, it's something that a lot of people have benefited from. And I think it's just brilliant for the children. They just have these experiences outside of the classroom. You know, I know like, like health eating is, is important as well, but everything else that's gone on, you know, from sport to drama, music, plays, you know, everything is just adding just a really great area. They, you know, the curriculum, it's brilliant. It has changed the whole aspect of the school. It has uh, enthused the staff. It has uh, put us at the hub of the commun local community. Um, this place is just vibrant seven days a week. You come here in the evening, the lights are on on the sports zone, the lights are on in the classrooms. We're just at the hub uh, of the community and it's just breathed new life in. Enrolment has increased and generally it's, it's made a massive difference to uh, our outlook on life. Across Northern Ireland, 500 schools are receiving funding under the Children and Young People's Funding Package. This pledges that all children and young people in Northern Ireland will thrive and look forward with confidence to the future within the next 10 years. Extended schools have major benefits in helping to deliver this. The parent knows that the school cares. The parent knows that the school is approachable and the parent knows that we want the best for their young person and we also want to work with the parent in making sure that the young person gets every opportunity that they can in the future. Schools are funded under five high-level outcomes. Being healthy with a wide range of indoor and outdoor activities. We've had a vast range of activities and the children have clubs which they go to then on a Thursday and these range from all the various sporting clubs such as Gaelic games, basketball, we bring in rugby, tennis, um, unihawk um, and then we also have the non-sporting clubs as well. For those children maybe that are not 100% interested in the sport they can get involved in, in maybe uh, one such as our Crumlin uh, Cool Citizens. It's a new club this year, uh, the children get together, they brainstorm various ideas uh, and they come up this year with uh, helping the elderly. Um, so what they wanted to do was to visit some of the, the old folks homes in Crumlin um, and then they actually they bus some of the um, elderly people into the school as well. Um, so the children work with them, they read with them, they talk with them and, and they have a really good session uh, and it's very, very beneficial for the children, fantastic for the old folks as well um, and it just shows one way that they can help uh, their community here in Crumlin. The, the cooperation between and across all the partners in the town, both the statutory partners and, and the, the non-statutory or the community partners, make this a success story. And young people are accessing uh, uh, out-of-hours learning opportunities in schools other than their own, supported by uh, staff who are contributing to learning from the community organisations. Now, if you don't have that, then you miss out on a huge richness uh, uh, that will underpin the success of extended schools provision in the longer term. So I think it's crucial. We have great teachers, we have great parental involvement, we have excellent uh, collaborative work with the Department of Health and Social Services, we have great work with um, the Speech and Language Unit, we have great involvement from Sure Start and the community. 
um, the parents now come to our nursery and come to our primary school expecting that they will get speech and language, expecting that they will get any help from the psychology department if they need it. All they need to do is ask. We can't do it. We'll try very hard to ensure that somebody else can do it. We've also um, spread that out, that we now have child assessment clinics within the area as well. Three times a year, if a child has a difficulty, we will have the medical officer in, we'll have the occupational therapist in, we'll have the speech therapist and the education psychologist, and we work out a strategy to help the child so that we're doing collaborative work. The team is working together. We're not talking the talk, we're actually walking the walk, and I think that's the important thing, that it's physically happening here. Parents are now not afraid. There's no stigma attached to their child needing extra help because they know it happens in school. We have no problems, and, and, and that's why they're not afraid to come to us and say, look, I have a difficulty. Can you... Help sorted out. First of all, we have 100% um, access to services. Children going to the health centre, we had a 50% DNA rate, did not attend rate. Um, when the children come here, we have 100% access to services. Um, basically, the children are here. They have no waiting list for therapy either. I can see them on the morning that the mom expresses concern about the child and would like to speak to me. If I'm in that nursery, I can assess that child with the mom present, and I can also deliver therapy that day. So um, the parents are very pleased with that service because um, quite often when they're referred to the statutory services, they're waiting maybe three months to get assessment, up to 12 weeks. Enjoying, learning and achieving, where achievement is as important as attainment. Raising self-esteem and having fun are also high on the agenda. It's enjoyable and it's always fun. I like playing with the vet shop. The vet shop? Mm -hmm. What's that? It's, it's where you just pretend to be a vet. Is that what you want to be? Mm -hmm. I like player matches and it looks really good for me because I really like the warm-ups and the way you get to tackle people and you get to be the goalie sometime. Yeah, I have to run up and try to tackle people to get the ball off them. Well, no, well, no it's not nice, but to get the ball off them in Gaelic, you have to tackle. My name's Keelan. What I like about ICT, it was that we got to learn all about compu computers, all different websites. Um, I like soccer because it improves your skill and you can cooperate with other people from other classes. Um, I go to drama and it's on a Monday and it's really exciting to learn a scene out of a script that you've never heard of before. And the man who runs at Care and Core would hand you out a script and you get to go the next week and stand in front of all your friends and speak it and give all the facial expressions and everything. And it's great to have this opportunity for them for Mads, more after the Arts and Drama Society, to give us the opportunity to be able to stand up on a stage in front of three or four hundred people without shaking like a leaf. Um, my name's Dervlan and I go to breakfast club before school and it helps my mummy because usually she would have to rush out the door and she would um, she would like worry about me not getting a healthy and nutritious breakfast but now that she drops me off to the breakfast club I can just pay my pound and say what I want and they just give me it and then we go and play games and can meet new people. I go to dance on Tuesdays which is really really fun because you get to do something you wouldn't usually do before in a friendly environment. I do the survival cookery class because it helps your mum to get a cheaper meal, a tasty cheaper meal, but, and it'll help your mum be able to save up for the mortgage. And Living with safety and with stability. Belfast boys model and Belfast girls model know what that entails. So we work very closely with um, the Greater Shangle Partnership and um, the alternatives groups and they actually come in and deliver programmes in the schools with our boys and looking at um, sort of restorative justice, looking at in some cases with young people sort of their behaviour in the community and also um, so how they can avoid uh, at risk of drug and alcohol abuse and, and other um, positive life skills that they can, positive life choices that they can take and again if that's delivered by a partner organisation, somebody they maybe identify more with, um, the message gets across clearer and it also 
it, it works in partnership with the messages that are coming through from the curriculum and the positive relationships that pupils have with the staff. Extended Schools has enabled us in school to start up um, a pet club and an equine facilitated learning scheme. Um, the school is supportive of this already but Extended Schools has allowed us to take it further than the school would maybe have had the resources to do and it's enabled us to have extra manpower, extra resources and again extra enthusiasm which is what everything is based upon. That's what takes it forward. So our pet club was started to try and cope with some of the attempted suicides, issue, the whole issue around suicide in North Belfast, to help pupils um, begin to re-engage with people again. At a stage they felt like they didn't want to engage with the world, pets are a very effective means of communicating um, interest in life again. They like what they see and do at Beaver Primary School and providers can see it producing solid results. MCA in Belfast does is childcare is a key part of what we do and that includes both childcare preschool and childcare after schools. So at our Stramulus base we have childcare and after school facilities and here at Beaver Primary School we also have uh, childcare uh, as part of the extended schools programme. Now what that means is when the children finish their afternoon school class uh, we are here with our staff to take the children and look after them until their parents are able to collect them to take them home. Experiencing economic and environmental well-being. St Matthew's Primary School in the markets in Belfast knows a thing or two about buying and selling and how to make a profit. Practical hands-on experience that gives children an appreciation of commercial realities and helps them build aspirations for the future. About four or five years ago we started the Fruit Cooperative uh, to try and get our children eating more healthily and it has really, really worked. We feel that our children are hooked on fruit. We sell an average of about 2,500 pieces of fruit per year. All the children are members of the Fruit Cooperative, therefore they can all share in the profits. Um, from those profits we now have a water th scheme throughout the school. Every child has a water bottle and has access to water. And also we have hooked in with our local credit union where children save on a regular basis. And we put some of the profits from our Fruit Cooperative into the credit union. And this has led us to move out more into the business world as well. We have a big business community on our doorstep here in Laganside and we've decided to utilise those businesses in terms of helping our children with their reading, their computing skills and also their numeracy skills. We've also used those businesses to help work with our parents um, in order to make them more viable as, as members of, of the community and also make them more used to the world of work. And contributing positively to community and society. School clusters working in partnership for the betterment of all, to share and exchange. Activities can also help new families settle into life in Northern Ireland and promote community well-being and understanding. Um, we recently had a parents' evening where we were able to buy in translators um, in Lithuanian, Polish and in Urdu. And we got some parents from each of those ethnic groups and we were able to talk about problems that perhaps they would have, such as a lot of our Polish and Lithuanian parents would work in factories. Their mobiles would be switched off when they're at work, so how do we contact anyone if the child is sick? Um, and basically explaining to them what's the expectations of homework. And we had some interesting questions from um, one of our Polish parents. She was talking about spellings. Do you know, you'd send home spellings and perhaps we don't realise, you know, you send home maybe B-U-T, T-U-T, but, tut, and then you've got P-U-T, which is put. And you don't understand that the, the lady herself couldn't read those, couldn't go through the spellings with the child. So it was very interesting findings on our part and hopefully informative for them. When all is said and done, the 500 schools that have received funding are very positive about outcomes to date. Well, the, the cluster and particularly the, the funding that we have received from the Department of Education has given us opportunities that probably we couldn't have taken advantage of before. For example, um, last year uh, a group of our children went along to uh, the controlled grammar school in Straban and they were actually taught the rudiments of rugby and they in turn then were able to pass on the, the, the skill that they had acquired to the local special school. So it was very much a community uh, based uh, initiative where we were given an opportunity, we were given money and we were allowed to use it uh, in a way that we felt would be most beneficial for the children and for our, our, our own area.
So long may it continue. Long may it continue. And, and, uh, I would encourage any principal to take up the extended schools challenge because it has really been very easy to organise. I have had no pressure on me as I do it. The link we have had with the YMCA, they do all the work and really we're just at the point where we're signing checks for them because they've followed the programme that we have set down. I think it's well within the competence of anybody to have a go at it. Extended schools, work in progress that's worth the effort.